Hey YouTube, Scarpio here. Anyone else tired of quarantine yet? When looking at the difference between dual wield and two handed on paper, they look like they should average out and the choice becomes up to preference. Two handed weapons have a stronger auto attack, but attack at a slower speed while dual wield will have a faster attack speed, but lower damage. But there are more factors that make this much more complicated, like AoE, ammunition, and abilities. I'm going to break them down based on combat style, starting with magic. The main difference between dual wield magic and two-handed magic are the five second basic abilities, Sonic Wave and Concentrated Blast. They both deal the same amount of damage, but add different buffs. Sonic Wave adds a 6% accuracy boost to your next attack. When fighting a boss where you have high accuracy, this doesn't help your DPS much. The benefit of using this over Concentrated Blast is that you don't have to cancel it, making it nice for AFKing bosses like Krill. Concentrated Blast, on the other hand, adds a 5% critical hit chance per hit of the Concentrated Blast for your next attack. This means if fully channeled, your next attack will receive 15% critical hit chance that stacks with the Biting Perk. However, the DPS of a fully channeled Concentrated Blast is lower than canceling it after the second hit when the global cooldown resets. The increased critical hit chance makes this ability superior to Sonic Wave DPS-wise, but only in cases where you have high accuracy, otherwise you'll want to use Sonic Wave. When looking at the difference between dual wield range and two-handed range, there are two big differences. The first are the 5 second basic abilities Dazing Shot and Needle Strike, just like magic. Luckily, neither of these abilities are channeled abilities that need to be cancelled, and they both deal the same amount of damage. But, Dazing Shot is a disappointing ability in comparison to Needle Strike. Dazing Shot applies a 10% accuracy debuff on your target for their next attack, so this ability doesn't help you offensively at all. The only way this ability becomes slightly better is by spending 63 million Shattered Anima to upgrade it to Greater Dazing Shot, but that only adds a bleed to the ability and has no change on the effect. Needle Strike, on the other hand, will give you a flat 7% increased damage on your next attack. This is perfect to use right before any threshold every single time, making this ability much more superior. The second difference is ammunition. When using a bow, the top two best arrows are the Blackstone arrows and the Araxite arrows. Both deal a decent amount of damage, but pale in comparison to enchanted Bacriminal bolts. You can get a huge DPS boost just by using enchanted Ruby Bacriminal bolts with dual wield ascension or blightbound crossbows. Now, melee is a very different story. The big difference between dual wield melee and two handed melee is how many targets you're fighting at once. When wielding a two handed melee weapon, you have access to abilities like Cleave, Quake, Hurricane, and Meteor Strike. All of these abilities deal AoE damage. That hits multiple targets. Most melee weapons will only attack one square away, but halberd style melee weapons will hit targets that are two spaces away. This means using these abilities with a halberd style weapon while surrounded by enemies is very OP. 
but if you're only fighting one target, dual wield is a better choice as you can deal more damage using decimate instead of cleave, destroy instead of hurricane, and frenzy instead of meteor strike. Summing this all up, in my opinion and experience, it's really helpful to bring both. This guide will help you if you're tight on a budget and need to choose between one or the other, but in the end, you'll want to bring both dual wield and two handed to some bosses. A great example would be Hellweir, where most of the fight the preference would be to use dual wield since you only have one target until the wolves come out. Then a two handed weapon would be preferred. Dual wield also has the added benefit of only needing to switch the offhand for a shield to use defensive abilities, where two-handed mage and melee require a full switch. Let me know down below in the comments whether you prefer dual wield or two-handed. Come join us in the Discord server to discuss PVM, show off your drops and achievements, and find out next week's intro to PVM topic. Make sure you all stay healthy, like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.